So our leaders uh, who came ahead of us strategically positioned a commandery here at the University of Ghana to be a pivotal community for knights and ladies and cadets and junior auxiliary from all over Ghana so that if they happen to get admissions here at the University of Ghana, Legon, at the University of Professional Studies or any other academic institution in Accra, Legon would be their home. And it's with this that we've built a brand that basically uh, fosters unity, fosters brotherliness among knights and ladies nationwide. So Legon, Legon came out as a trailblazer. I mean, that was how we were described from the onset. We came in young, vibrant, energetic. We, did, we, took, we took just a little bit of time to catch on. And since then, we've been trying as much as possible to be instrumental in the growth of the order. For instance, we have been able to find ourselves in positions of the grand, the regiment and the battalion. And this has helped us learn a lot more and also come home with a lot of skills to enable a lot of people to grow. Here at 911, we can boost up the quality of our members. Uh, we have members from diverse professions in the line of legal attorney, medical practitioners, CEOs of corporate institutions, lecturers, senior researchers, and members with vocational and technical expertise. And their integration into the other is one thing that I believe 911 can boost up it. I've been with the commandery for four years now, of which when I was admitted into the university and I joined the commandery, I felt a sense of belonging. And also, the, I've also gained so many opportunities, such as internship opportunities. Currently, we have a military wing of about 23 brothers, among which we have about 20 committed members who, when we call on for drills, they are always ready to avail themselves. We've also enjoyed support from the second regiment support team. They've been marvelous. They've always been around to help us with our drills, rehearsals, and all that. As a noble order, Knights of St. John's International and Ladies Auxiliary, one of our key tenets is to do charity, and we believe that charity first begins at home. So as an order, every year, we give an amount of money to the St. Vincent de Paul Society to help the poor and needy within the Catholic community here at Legon. We as a Ladies Auxiliary also go out there to help the Sunday school children in purchasing some things that they need for the Sunday school up and doing. The St. Thomas Aquinas Parish Hall is a multi-purpose commercial facility that is meant to actually take care of the activities and the functions of the different groups within the church and also of the entire Catholic community in this region. In fact, uh, before I became PPC chair, the church actually conducted a, a survey to find out the priority, the first prior, the first two priority needs of the church. And I think the parish hall came up on top, amongst others like having trying to have a grotto and you know trying to establish uh, some uh, facility. So when I became PPC chair, we were actually taxed with the job of actually getting this parish hall done. We say that we have been able to help the parish also raising some amount of money to help in finishing the parish hall project. So these are some of the charity things that we as a lady auxiliary as well as Knights of St. John's have done in this regard. In terms of the financial contributions, I believe that the KSJI, Ladies Auxiliary, we are, if not the most, or should I say the highest contributors, we are among the highest contributors to the parish hall. We have contributed several things. In fact, we launched a one night, one lady, uh, one cement campaign and using that we were able to contribute as much as 300 bucks towards the building project. So the, the project was actually planned to be completed in two years. And the reason why we wanted to complete it in two years was that we know our country. We know how the prices of building materials and stuff fluctuate over the years. 
So we came together and said to ourselves, it's better to finish this project in a very short time so that we don't actually uh, you know, spend too much on it. So we gave ourselves two years and I can tell you that we are right on course to be able to do that. We know that by the end of this year, we should be towards completing this project in time. So as a commandery, we've done very mounted parades and our performance has been great such that the gun has tapped into our resources and the kind of quality people we have. So our wedding president currently, currently is part of the grand performance team. A number of us are also part of the second regiment support team that whenever we are called upon, we don't disappoint. We give we give out our best and Supreme Subordinate also normally calls upon us whenever they need us. We had brothers serve as Grand Deputy Secretaries uh, and also the Grand Org Organizers. And this has helped in a lot of ways to fashion out and shape the communication activities of uh, the Grand and it is something that has laid a very good foundation for others to build on. Secondly, we also went on to have regimental and battalion positions. In the battalion myself, I became the second vice commander of the first battalion in the second regiment. And this helped us to also reach out to other commanders and learn more and also collaborate with them on so many more activities. In terms of our ladies, we had positioning in the district. And uh, one of our very own also served as an officer of the district and so many diverse activities. And whenever we had uh, the Supreme uh, Subordinate Military Wing, myself and many others were asked to join the military team that served at the 75th anniversary of the Catholic Church. So this was uh, a pivotal moment for us in 911, and it showed how quickly we were admired, we were, ad we were acknowledged, and we were well positioned, and we are ready to serve. Following up from that, in the new leadership, we have found ourselves very, very instrumental to have ourselves being called by the grant for the strategic committee and also the legal aid committee. These two are two pivotal committees in the growth of the order, in the growth of membership and the support of membership as well. The legal aid is supposed to assist uh, brothers in terms of all legal assistance, may be it uh, contractual or business-wise, to help them in understanding what they need to do in legal terms and also to move forward. For the strategic committee, it is mainly for the growth of the order to look at the, how the, the financial engineering of the order can be improved and can be grown. The social conventions that we have can be improved and also build the order as a whole and forward. So, Legon finds itself in a very, very unique position, being called upon time and time again to serve and to avail themselves for unique service. The COVID uh, pandemic actually swooped everybody off their feet and within the church we happened to have been making plans to celebrate our 70th anniversary. We had made quite a lot of plans when the COVID pandemic actually, you know, became serious. So our plans to celebrate our 70th anniversary were all actually, you know, thrown, you know, in, into the dust. So in our church, when the COVID came, we had to close down our church and then do online services in order not to lose our faith. I was away during the COVID pandemic. I was doing my studies and then uh, I came not long ago. Uh, it was a bit of experience being in somebody's land uh, with the existence of the pandemic. But uh, all being so good, we are back safe and sound and then we wish to continue the good work that we were doing. I mean, the love, the love that brothers shown was was very fantastic you know uh, brothers acknowledge the fact that i am alone on somebody's land uh, very far away from home and then they kept on getting in touch uh, through social media some even called me on phone and then to ask how i was doing this gave me that feeling that the brotherhood is not only when you are home but wherever you may be at the corners of the world you will still check up on you Ninth and ladies have made a tremendous impact in terms of trying to curtail this current COVID pandemic. If you talk about the area of research and development, especially in trying to understand the virus, 
Um, the sequencing of the virus was done at Noguchi and it involved nights here at this parish. Um, the vaccination routines were all developed, you know, uh, in, 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 in combination with researchers at Noguchi, for which nights were a part. We also have one of our ladies um, who actually was in the north doing a lot of advocacy, trying to teach um, the people in the area about the virus and how best they can avoid it. Here is the good place uh, that I, I capture a whole lot of people and at the long run, at the end of the day, what we want to achieve is zero cases, zero death and I know we are gradually getting to that point. So in my opinion, I think the current pandemic has seen how strong we are as a, a, an auxiliary and as a knighthood. And uh, I believe that going forward, we will be able to do more to help our country alleviate itself from this pandemic. So here on, Legon is taking a new turn. Legon for the next four years is going to appoint a new worthy president. My tenure, uh, sadly to say, is over. But the future is so bright for the other. It has become a pivotal point for referencing a very young commandery. And we have pride ourselves with education, education and perfection. So we try as much as possible to increase that as we go for it. I believe strongly that whoever takes up the mantle after me will have great success because we, this is just the beginning for Legon and I believe strongly that the other will come in a long way to admire the growth of Legon Commandery number 911 and it will be another four years of another 10 years, another 20 years of, of tremendous success and growth. A collective growth as well as individual growth which will uh, go a long way to help in building the order in the future. So I see the commandery growing from strength to strength, kind of brotherhood we have here. I see a commandery that would help one another to grow. I would like to see 911, if not the best, one of the best commanders in the grant and one with the largest membership in the grant. Legon, that's commandery number 911. Uh, there is a lot of expectation. Um, we have young brothers who are very vibrant in everything that we do. And so you could see that we have a very bright future. Uh, we all hope and then pray that whatever aims that we have for the commandery and then for ourselves as individuals and then for the church at large will be, will be accomplished. For those who admire Legon and who have admired Legon for so long, I say to you, you are always welcome home. Legon is the heart of St. John. Welcome home. In the coming years, the small that we are going to do, we want to be part of our future. Reach out to us. Reach out and you are welcome to Legon St. John's home.